let's talk about infectious disease epidemiology and transmission dynamics. I'm going to introduce you to a number of concepts and together these are the things that we think about when we consider how it is that infectious disease spreads. Firstly, mode of transmission. This can be through direct contact, indirect contact, respiratory droplets, airborne, vector-borne, fecal-oral, blood-borne, and vertical transmission, which is from mother to child. Next, infectious period. This is the time during which an infected person can transmit the disease to other people. Next, the basic reproductive number, or R0. This is the average number of secondary infections caused by an infected individual in a fully susceptible population. And I have another video on R0 if you want to understand how it is that we use this number to determine how much vaccine coverage we need to get to herd immunity. The effective reproductive number, so this is the average number of secondary infections caused by an infected individual in a population with varying levels of immunity. And just so that you know, this channel is sponsored by Nested Knowledge. That's a platform that supports systematic literature review and meta-analysis. They're absolutely amazing. Check out the link in the description below. And with that, on with the lesson. The incubation period. This is the time between getting infected and the appearance of symptoms. The latent period. This is the time between infection and the onset of infectiousness. Herd immunity. This is the indirect protection from infectious disease that comes from a large percentage of the population being immune. It's the point at which ongoing transmission is unlikely to occur. It's the point at which for every infected person, less than one additional person gets infected. Host factors. These are age, sex, genetics, immune status, and underlying health conditions, and they can influence the susceptibility to infection and disease severity. Pathogen factors. These include virulence, transmissibility, and adaptability of the infectious agent. Environmental factors. These include population density, climate, sanitation, and other external conditions that can affect transmission dynamics. Social factors. Things like cultural practice, human behavior, and policy interventions that can influence the spread of infectious disease. And finally, disease control measures. Vaccination, treatment, isolation, quarantine, contact tracing, public health campaigns, and other interventions designed to reduce transmission and mitigate the impact of infectious disease. I hope you found this useful. Please stay and watch another video. Have a great day.